All right. We're loud and clear. I'm alive. You're live. Welcome back back to the Strange and Unusual podcast. podcast. We've been on quite the hiatus, uh, but we're back. Audio only today because uh, didn't have a good camera and, you know, we've kind of been everywhere today, so it's been a a good day. Yeah, it's like one in the morning right now. It is, wow. Hey, I was trying to figure out the setup for this because I have, uh, we're using two Yeti mics and it had been a while since I use two Yeti mics to do a podcast, podcast like this, this in person because the last time it was like this, this was probably like when I used to record with my cousin. And uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's a little throwback. Don't look like Yeti. It's the name of the brand though, Blue Yeti. Compared to the other mics, they have one that's a snowball. It literally looks like a snowball. That was a, a good microphone. I used to have that, that one. Too. That was like my first microphone i think to like like a professional kind of ish microphone and then i finally then when, when, I, when I got the idea that was the shit, shit which is literally that one right there <laughs> og i guess it would be a little bit awkward though if they look yetis so. <laughs> yeah that would be uh that'd be weird kind of just like you're talking into the yeti's mouth or something or yeah probably <laughs> like the top of his head i guess like you're just implanting brain like brain waves brain waves yeah but it would probably be a bit muffled because like wouldn't be kind of furry yeah but they do sell like the fur things for the microphone so you can just say it's for that for like a wind thing yeah so it works out all in all uh yeah so yeah 2023 was a a good year it's fun great year for haunt good haunt season um we hit a quite a few this season Talking about Not Scary Farm, Halloween Horror Nights, LA Haunted Hayride, Shacktoberfest, Lights Out, uh, Drex Society. Well, I mean, the, we kind of went here and there. Yeah. Um, the Whittier Middle, middle School? Whittier Middle School. East, yeah. yeah. That one was cool. That was good, East Whittier. That was fun. Especially for a middle school. Yeah, that, that was, was dope. crazy. It was like a movie theater. Yeah. And... Every time you went into a different room, it was like a different movie. Um, and I was just impressed to see the timing that they took to put the, the thing up. Like they said, they only put it up. It takes them like one week to put them up. And they have like all the support of the parents and everything. And then they have to take it down within one night. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was less time putting it up. But yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they uh, they use their, their gymnasium. I think it's a pretty good floor print. I mean, if they're using the entire gymnasium, that's that's a pretty big floor print for them. I loved how they did the uh, trick or treat swamp, though. Yeah, they did trick or treat. They did killer clowns from outer space. They did Freddy versus Jason. They did the Conjuring. They did Insidious. The Insidious was pretty cool too. Insidious was cool. I'm trying to think what else they did. They did a lot. It was like a lot of references really here big and there. Mashup. They had a little bit of the Grudge and Annabelle. Yeah, the Annabelle. Ring. Chucky, Scream, all that stuff. Yeah, I guess there was all in it, really. It was a good mashup. Yeah, it was a good little cool little entrance lobby. You go into like the... The, oh, the person from V from Vendetta was in the theater. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, it was a good mashup, though, because it was like a cool lobby. And we went in. The facade was cool. It was a marquee. Then you went in, and it was kind of like a... There was like a bunch of photos everywhere of like all these different like characters and stuff. And then, then you finally entered the theater. It was kind of like, like your... I kind of looked, looked at that as like the lobby to get, get snacks, snacks and then you're going into the theater and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was cool how they did it in the hallway too. Cause they, they always do like the turns and curves and stuff. So you kind of walk in and walk all the movie posters and you go into the theater. Yeah. And then you go into the movies from there. That was, that was really cool. Very creative. We've been trying to do that at the high school that I work at. Cause uh, I'm in charge. I'm half in charge of the Halloween club and we're looking to, probably do the easter maze this year but we're gonna have the meeting this wednesday to talk about it and see where we can go from there so we may have to make a lot of trips to sam's club so we can help fundraise this project yeah no problem uh you know me i I love easter and halloween to bunny or whatever (laughs) unicorn bunny yeah costume there and ready to get it out and make an appearance Definitely. It's one of my favorite costumes as a, a haze mare doing festive looks. Yeah. 
definitely love doing the bunny. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Uh, I don't know what the theme will be yet, though. I mean, I got to still figure out what we're going to do as far as, like, a story-wise goes. I mean, I know you can do a lot with Easter, but got to do, do a fun story. Do it like uh, the non-Nightmare Before Easter. I mean, before Easter, that could be a good, like, a little what if story, I guess, huh? Yeah, that'd be that'd your be own take fun. on what if. I feel like, too, like, not only if you make it, you can make it creepy, but you can also make it like, when... but yeah, and it also could be, it, it also passes the guidelines of like a, a family friendly, like a school friendly kind of environment, you know what I mean? It's like we decided to do our own what if, like, we've seen all these doors and stuff, and we've always been curious as to what's behind those doors and how Jack would react to those holidays, so yeah. This is what our take on um, from the universe of the Nightmare Before Christmas comes the Nightmare Before Easter. Yep, there you go. Uh, yeah, that'd be a fun one. I think that could be a lot of fun. Try to get uh, my boy AJ to do the narrations. Sandy Claus. <laughs> that'd be a lot of fun. I had to pitch that idea this week. See if the kids will like that one. See if we can come up with a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can take pretty much like the old school traditional Easter looks and then just make them Halloween or even like one or two a little bit gory, you know? Yeah. I just don't know how we'd go about making a Jack Skellington. Easter Jack Skellington? Throw oh. him in the, uh, the, cost the Easter Bunny costume. You gotta Super remember in the movie, he, uh, he, they accidentally, you remember Oogie Boogie's boys, they go and they accidentally get the Easter Bunny? Yeah. <laughs> and they bring him. Easter Bunny's terrified. Well, yeah. No, he put funny. him in a costume like and traditional and see white. The, and, uh... the foundation for that is already there because the Easter Bunny already made the appearance in the movie. So now it's like, yeah. a what if? It's like, okay, so what if? Easter Bunny got, no, got traumatized. He went back and all of a sudden he became killer Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened after the Oogie. Oogie's boys brought him back. Or like he's traumatized that he doesn't want to go out to do Easter. So then like Jack comes in to save, try to save Easter. And that's what breaks the shell of the, that's why you can have like a, I'm trying to think of like an appropriate ending, you know, for, for high school. For high school. We got a. Grand saves the day. Like he did at the end of uh, Die Before Christmas. No. Yeah, he saved Santa Claus. Claus go. But yeah, I mean, but Santa from... saved Christmas. Well, yeah, but he saved Santa from Oogie. Yeah. And if he didn't do that, then there would have been no Christmas. So technically in the way Jack, Jack saved the day at the end. end. Yes, Santa saved Christmas, but Jack saved everything. <laughs> yes. um, we got a Vegas trip coming up. April. In April. We're probably going to talk about that leading up to it and then after a little bit. But uh, so far, the, the, the concrete plan that we want to do at least one item on the agenda for sure is going to be uh we're finally going to go back to see it chapter two yeah we did talk about chapter one in the uh early beta episode. phase <laughs> of the podcast now we're uh kind of trying to go forward with with more frequent episodes but uh yeah we talked about chapter one really well um i don't know did we talk about the saw one too i think we did huh i don't know that might be in one of the unreleased episodes probably so three i think we had like two or two? three unreleased we filmed and recorded and never released, released so, yeah yeah maybe you guys have thoughts on what we should do with that yeah if you want to hear them i mean everything's gonna be probably past tense from like august of 2023 but you <laughs> yeah. know it is what it is maybe we can make um, them tiktoks or something you know people yeah, do that now some advertisements of the Hulu. podcast be a lot of fun unreleased footage never before seen only on tiktok um, yeah, we got a Vegas trip coming up where, uh, it was funny cause we play a lot of the, my Vegas apps. So we get a lot of like comp stuff and this time around we're staying at a very fancy hotel. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens, but, uh, we're going to try to book a stay at the Bellagio and, uh, we got two comp nights off of that. Um, but <laughs> like a week after we made the reservation, that was when you were like, Oh, I hope they let me in with my face paint because, uh, yeah, they, I, I remember we talked to the people at the It Experience and you asked them if you can paint up so you could take some pictures and they were like really open and okay with that. So this time around, you're going to do that. 
Yep, um, super excited. And hopefully we can get some good pictures in front of the Nebolt house, you know, in front of like different various set pieces and stuff. That could be a lot of fun or just film some TikToks. Yeah. Pennywise himself. Pennywise, you know, yes. He's a big inspiration for Hazemare. Yeah. But for, uh, Hazemare kind of takes a different approach when it comes to kids. She doesn't like terrifying them. She tries to make them her friends. So, yeah. And then we haven't even <laughs> we haven't even done chapter two yet. So like, we haven't. I'm so excited. That's we gonna got, be the yeah. Next we one. looked in last time we were there, and a lot of good uh, promises oh, that yes. we can see are going to happen. Some of our fan favorite scenes from chapter two. Looking forward to that. I just hope we get another good group. I mean, we had a pretty good group for chapter one that were really in it and involved in it and everything. And so I was thinking about it. I, I'm a little bit nervous that and hopefully we don't get a group that is just already afraid of clowns. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be. We don't get a group that when we show up, they're like, hell no. Yeah, they're going to think you're part of the show when in reality, she's just a fan. Yeah. Just at the show trying to do the escape room. Just like everyone fan. else. Yeah, yeah, just trying to do the escape rooms as much as you can. Then I thought about that. And then Anthony goes, what about if Mr. Floats went there? Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, so, Mr. Floats, if you listen, you should totally go check out the it chapter or it chapter one and escape room. Yeah, that we would were, be a dope photo thing. I know we were talking about the idea too, how cool it would be if they like hosted a pop up event there. Yeah. Like in the back, because they have a huge parking lot in the back. Um, and it'd be cool if they hosted like a. There's a lot of things out here in California that they host similar like that, like little pop-up like little like photo shoots, markets or marketplaces. You know, storytellers yeah. always doing his photo shoots. It would be photo dope shoots, to have something yeah. like that out there, yeah. Yeah, they have like um like Halloween Depot does little pop-up events with, you know, people that come out and sign autographs. Halloween Depot's you know. always killing it. Yeah, they're killing it, you know, and then you got like, you know, um keeping, Creeper Real. Like keeping little... horror through the year. Yeah, so they I, I think that with the market constantly expanding, especially with, you know, the current construction of the uh, HHN. Yeah, the Horror Unleashed out there from Universal, uh, you know, the, the market's expanding out there quickly and fast. And, 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 you know, we're not even talking about just the horror scene. We're talking about the entertainment scene overall. Yeah. I mean, you know, F1, so has, new F1 has a 10 year deal, you know, and that was a freaking cluster last year yeah. when we went, you know, to see all that. Um, so I, I, I do I do have we do have our uh, uh, I have a friend that lives out in Vegas and 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 he was telling me how much of a disaster it was to drive to work every day because he works at the Sphere um, and he was telling me that it was just such a cluster to get to work and it sucked and I was like damn like I I, I can only imagine you know it's like we complain about traffic here but then when you have an event that really literally blocks yeah. out where your your main areas of focus need to go it's like it sucks so you know you got the f1 happening super bowl is happening at you know at the at, at allegiant stadium this year um and you know there's just you know they, they got um the athletics coming down from oakland they're getting their own stadium where the tropicana used to be um you know it, it's just it, the market is expanding there rapidly you know and yeah. it's just it's 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 so going back to the horse scene in that you know it, it's one of those things where i feel like if they were to host events like that not only will they bring traction to their escape rooms more but you know you have the opportunity to invite vendors out you know and and start establishing relationships cuz i feel like too they can also have like a big get together at the one right there uh where the saw one is like have all the vendors inside right there where the saw and the Blair Witch one is, I just think the only like sucky part, yeah, it was the only the only downside was parking was kind of a, a disaster there. But I feel like uh, the it ex, the it location. I feel like it's good for the escape room itself, but hosting yeah. a, a pop up event you know, could end up with a big population of people, especially depending on the time of year. But because Las Vegas has a lot of hotels and something winds up hitting meanwhile something else is happening you could wind up with a really big turnout <laughs> yeah no yeah definitely especially like you know with the weather and everything i know it gets really hot during the summer you know and then but i would definitely love to see more you know halloween inspired things happening in vegas because it was really a big bummer to me last time that we went out there and you know it wasn't just so much a pleasant experience the whole time right yeah, and I know. I know that like I, me and you are not too big like on the club scene either. No, and I know that they do a lot of themings around Halloween or other holidays as far as like the clubs go usually. And okay, so it's like 
you know, I mean, it's nothing major. They just probably will decorate or um, play like music related to the, you know, the, the yeah. Season. But you know me, I want haunt, all, like not haunt, but I want Halloween all year. Yeah. Um, especially, I mean, haunt all year, of course. When I know that that's where HHN is going, with things, but you know, like I said, it just it was pretty close. We were in October when we did go out there, and you know, I even tried to make Hazemere a little bit more acceptable, you know, carrying around the balloon and the little uh, skeleton buddy and stuff like that, just really trying to get a bit more random interaction with people and stuff like that. And aside, it was, aside from, you know, one or two people, it was more or less, and I mean, the one or two people were mostly people that we were in elevators with, so they had an opportunity to really, like, talk to me, you know? Right. Um, But aside from that, there wasn't very many interactions or you know like uh, a lot of people when i told them the idea of going out in full costume and stuff like that they were like oh you're, you're probably going to be stopped for photographs and other and you know none of that really happened i know on the uh, downside of it we actually had a bad experience on one of the hotels so yeah you know that that's what ultimately led me to saying you know hopefully we're staying at bellagio because now it makes me a little bit worried to go and do these things and uh you know i have to catching myself and go and make sure that things are gonna be okay you know like yeah. like for this trip i went ahead and sent an email out to bellagio to try to be like hey you know this is what i'm planning on doing i just want to make sure that it's okay and we're not gonna get you know messed with by security or anything because like ultimately you know even though hayes mayor does come off scary and things like that she's not trying to you know create a bad time she's actually looking for a positive experience despite her looking obscure to the general society you know yeah. she she has all these things uh that would pers- you know come off as scary for a reason and it's, it's strictly for that reason of you know she wants people she wants to break a stigma but not just for every person out there you know i don't want to be a happy go lucky character and then that's why people want to approach me no i want to be somebody that looks awkward peculiar scary and then when somebody does wind up approaching me or something like that like you know like i was telling you i want to come up with an idea of you know possibly giving something away to you know everybody that does approach me or something like that just so i can kind of break that stigma of you know the past where it was like oh the the killer crown clown craze on the news and this and that like i don't want that to be the stigma that clowns have yeah or you know the reputation that clowns have. so you know when i do go out and do these things where it's in vegas or you know in a, in a major public setting because when i do go to the photo shoots or something like that sometimes i will make it a um thing where i want to go to like walmart or something like that and it's just because of that strict reason where i want to try slowly break that reputation of clowns scary clowns are evil you know because that's not necessarily what we are underneath it all we're still people right you know and bringing up clowns we have that hundred plus clown um get together on the 10th so you know we'll see how they turn out with that yeah that should be cool it's a 110 or 100 clown uh meet up at the heritage historical heritage museum in uh santa Ana. And I heard uh, about that from Larry Bones. And yeah. then, um, Do I got to buy a ticket for that, by the way? Or is that just kind of just a show up thing? I believe it's just show up. I, I think on there it says free event. I know it's going from 12 to 6. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that way I didn't just show up. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, you can get in, but uh, you need a ticket, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Then, oh, okay. Well, let me go buy a ticket real quick. Um, I, which I don't mind. I, I always, you know, as we always like to support our local uh, horror events and stuff, so they can. My keep friend that going. does candles. She also told me about it, and she's going to be there. At, Pick up some candles. Going to be uh, in costume. I'm not really sure if she's doing her candles. Yes, I have to get some candles because she does amazing work with. You know, sometimes there's multiple different colors, and they're they're just they're really cool. <laughs> so yeah, uh, before we move on to events, too, uh, I just want to say like yeah. We are going to Vegas really soon, and uh, we'll keep you updated as to more stuff that we plan. Uh, so far, the only concrete thing that we know we want to do is the It Chapter 2 uh, experience. That's something that's been on our agenda now for some time since it uh, reopened. We had just missed the opening the last time we were there by like a week. Yeah. Um, and that was like such a bummer. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I'm 
kind of glad we waited only in the sense that, you know, they, they were saying usually in the beginning, there's a lot of kinks and stuff. They still got to work out, you know, they can only test so much until, it, you know, they got to see how long things can go. So I'm hoping by the time we get there, obviously it's going to be April. It's going to be sometime now that's been open almost a full year that it'll be open and, uh, everything will be worked out and we'll have a really fun experience. Um, but events, uh, yeah, we got, we got the, uh, the clown meetup happening on February 10th of 2024. That's going to be a fun event. We'll be down there filming that. Uh, a lot of familiar faces going, a lot of friends of ours are going, um, and just all, uh, positive vibes, uh, and, and a good time, you know, um, I can't wait for that. You brought that to my attention. That's something that, uh, you very much were, uh, passionate about wanting to go and doing. So, uh, I was on board with it and yeah. And then, uh, next weekend, uh, as of this recording, February 3rd, 2024, we are going to uh, Creep IE Creep out in uh, Ontario, California. Good now, Saturday. yeah, I'm mostly going for some signatures. Uh, there are two big Sons of Anarchy cast members that are going to be there. Charlie Hunnam, who played Jax Teller, and um, Ron Perlman, who played uh, Clay Morrow. And if you guys have seen Sons of Anarchy, you know they were both presidents of SOA. And, um, I really need them to sign my SOA vest. There is also going to be, uh, I think happy's going to be there and the mines leader is going to be there too. But I, uh, I really want them to more than anything. And they're, yeah. They're also so, so good. Like outside of SOA also. Yeah. I mean, you got Ron Perlman. He's, he's, you know, Hellboy. I love him. Hellboy. You know, he was good in that. He had a, a he had a, 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 a character in blade two, which was another Guillermo del Toro movie anything really Guillermo del Toro he's in he was in Pacific Rim the first one um and yeah Charlie Hunnam Jax you know he's he's done a couple movies after that uh there's rumor that a SOA spinoff series is in the works as far as like um either a sequel or prequel no one kind of knows the concrete details yet but uh yeah, I'm trying to get as much. That'll as be fun. I, try to get as much as I can out of Jax Teller when I meet him. He's probably not gonna tell me I, nothing. I, but yeah, I highly doubt you'll get yeah. very much. <laughs> he that, probably like just knows that they're doing. He doesn't even. He probably hasn't read anything yet. Yeah. Maybe he could be a uh, producer. Yeah. Yeah, that's or true. Somebody important on that. I can see. You know, I just producer. hope to be there when you get the signatures and stuff like because I know that I kind of get attracted and stuff when I'm in costume. Standing in long lines, I get very bored. Yeah, I had so. I had told her ahead of time. I was like, I'm gonna be like, this is actually one of the main reasons why I'm going. Like, I know she very much likes to go and and look at the vendors and see what they have. So I told her I was like, don't let me stop you from doing that. Like, if I'm in line and it's long, like, go check out the vendors and all that. I'll try to, you know, I'm gonna do my best to shoot you that text right before I'm getting closer. That way, you have enough time to get back. Five from the front. <laughs> yeah, so that way you can get back over there, and then uh, that way you don't have to wait long lines. You can still see the whole convention and maybe get some photos in, too. Oh, that would be cool, you know? Oh. I'm just more there to try and buy you some more time. Be like the the little scary face, so they could be like, I don't know why he has a clown with him. I will continue to talk to him for an extra minute or two. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh... you know me, I do love meeting celebrities, but I love meeting them in awkward or just really random situations like how i met jeffrey daniel phillips yeah from at, uh, uh from the monsters, monsters rob zombie's yeah, monsters and, and three and from other hell. rob zombie films yeah um met a, you met him at a burrito truck after, outside of midsummer scream yeah. in long beach and then i seen him again at uh festive what is is that uh the oc the name always escapes me it's like creep oc oh or, yeah uh, Creep it real? Yeah, creep it real. Yeah. Oh, the festive one? Yeah, yeah. We've seen him there again. I, like, recognize my character, which, you know, that means a lot to me for somebody famous to recognize my character. I was like... And I think I remember we were we were in uh, Los Angeles for something. Yeah, we were celebrating our anniversary doing something. In, uh, Icons of Darkness, he, maybe? Yeah, Icons of Darkness, and then we went over to Universal Studios after that because we yeah. wanted to, you know, to eat, Just eat and birthday. spend more of the day. I thought we were also doing our anniversary. What I think I remember. Was it just my, strictly for your birthday? I think it was for my birthday, yeah. Okay, my bad then. I remember you're like, what do you want to do for your birthday? I was like, I really want to see Icons of Darkness. Okay, and yeah, so, so your birthday then. Wanted to go look for Jurassic Park stuff. Yeah, that's what it was. it was at the time, thirty. well, the, last year was the 30th anniversary yeah, for the first time. I was looking for something that said 93 and 30, because yeah. we were both 93 and 30. <laughs> 
Oh, well. No, yeah, we also saw uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips, yeah, in Los Angeles, I think. He's in, sitting behind us in traffic. In traffic, yeah, <laughs> and that was during the uh, the strikes of everything, so uh, I don't know where he was going, but uh, what caught my attention is because on my the back of my car, I actually have a sticker that says Free the Three from Three from Hell, and it's all their mug shots and everything, so I think he, I saw him smile, and it looked like he was smiling at that. So We hope. We hope so, yeah. But either way, we see, we, I mean, we, 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 we continue to see this guy. And it's only a matter of time before I can snatch him up to do a podcast. I hope so. Yeah, that would yeah. be awesome, right? That would be awesome. I'd, lo- I'd love to. Um, Start opening the door. A few bigger names out there. Oh, yeah. Big time. One day. Get the studio looking like a, a late night TV show set. <laughs> I have a desk. And a- horror. Yeah. Horror night set. Like a, I like the Demi James set a lot. Like, I loved exactly oh, yeah, what they did for that. Oh, yeah, an amazing set. Yeah. Um... So yeah, we got so that's pretty much most of like February. Do we got any, any other big events in February that we're heading to? We're doing the the light. Yeah, we're doing well, the light thing that for... I really wanted to do in costume, but <laughs> yeah, because it's probably just better that I don't go. In. I do agree with Anthony on that one. There will be children about. Yeah, it's a family thing at the what is it, botanical gardens or something like that, or. Um, in LA or somewhere, somewhere in the Los Angeles region or whatever. I don't know, somewhere in the area. But it starts with an I. Anyway, but it's 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 a, like a really cool interactive light walkthrough. It's supposed to be like super trippy and like there's supposed to be like a bunch of different like effects and everything. So we're gonna check that out. You know um, me in cities. Yeah. Rovia and Montebello and Montclair and we're all the same place. Yeah, really? she, you know, she gets her <laughs> cities mixed up a lot. Glendora and Glendale. All the same, because they got G's and all that stuff. They start with the same letter, then they're more in like... If they start with the same letter and they sound similar, I'm like, you might as well just put them in the same location, because to me, in my brain, it's... it. Yeah, here you're going to have some time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because she always... Uh, She'll always ask where uh, my house is at, even though she's been there a few times, no matter where we're from. I learned how to get to your house and back. No, oh, yeah, from your house, but like if we're anywhere else, you know? Yeah, usually. I kind of know where. I'm kind of familiar with a lot of places because I've been back and forth. That's why I hope that I'm kidnapped because I will not be like the the people in those movies that are like, we made a right and then a left and then two lefts and then a right. I'll be like, we went up. We went up. <laughs> so you went up a hill. Uh, and then we disappeared this porthole and back. <laughs> I think another thing that's let me see what, what was I gonna say. I think we had another agenda item this year that we want. Oh, here's an announcement I can kind of make now. Um, well, I haven't really bought in yet, but the plan is, um, Sammy and I are gonna be running a 5K. Let me rephrase that. Sammy and I are going to be lightly jogging and power walking a 5K. Sammy more probably will be a little bit more fitted for it than I will. But um, something that uh, came to our attention recently. Um, and Sammy, if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't been keeping up with the Knights of Horror Story and whatnot. Um, Sammy recently just ran Disney's 5K and 10K uh, and, and really did it in some record time. Very proud of him for that. And uh, he's lost a ton of weight. He's done a lot of preparation. Um, so it's only fitting that uh, for Halloween this year, we uh, or around Halloween time, should I say, we are going to be running Disney's uh, Halloween 5K together. Um, I, you and I had a conversation about like, you know, as, as to like what made me want to decide about this. And, and the simple answer was um, two reasons. One, uh, he's Sammy's my best friend, and I want to accomplish something like that with him. Um, that way, he feels like he's not doing it alone. And I kind of felt bad leaving him alone with the last one, so I want to accomplish something. Even though I know he, you know, he's not, he doesn't think like that. But in the sense of like, you know, just want to f- accomplish something with him. That way, he knows that I was there for his accomplishment. He was there for my accomplishment. You know, that's that's always fun. And number two. Um, even though I'm not the fittest person in the world, uh, I've always kind of wanted to say that I've completed one in my lifetime. And what better way to do it than a Halloween themed one? So, um, 
yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. We're going to try our best to vlog it, but you know, uh, I suck at vlogging, so we'll do what we can. <laughs> um, but I think I'll be motivated to do it more. Uh, I'll just take the uh, little little Sony with me, the little small one, little cam, just do some running with that, and I think we'll have a good time. I don't know what the uh, the time with the registration opens, I think, February 12th or 13th, so... Well, yeah, I'm sure you guys will have a good time doing that. Yeah, should be a fun time. Um, looking forward to it. Get my exercise on. That means I have pretty much the whole rest of the year to prepare a little bit more. Yeah, I told you I'm more than uh, willing to help you with that. So, yeah. You know, the process of getting ready to do a 5K or you know, whatever that is in miles. <laughs> whatever five kilometers translates to. Yeah. Um, I know. I know. I know. No, no math. I don't know math like that. I don't know math. <laughs> I'd have to do a Google search, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the comments are like, it's this many miles. I'm like, yeah, okay. Well. We're just, we're not savvy like that. Yeah, Sorry. and we're not huge fitness people, so. <laughs> Definitely not huge on the fitness, no. No, but we will do it. I don't run unless I'm Hazemare. Yeah. And then most likely she skips. Which is like a, your former run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. Um, that's something that uh, it's going to be a good one. I don't know. I feel like I can make like a whole documentary about like the training for it leading up to like the day of. Be a lot of footage, but we'll see. Who knows? I have a lot of ideas running through the head. But yeah. Um, more than likely, obviously, in the midsummer scream later on in the year. Oh yeah, of course. We'll they, be there. They did go ahead. And they will be doing, you know, the 2024 Midsummer Scream, I believe, again at the Beach Convention Center. So, uh, so. We're, we're a little thrown off that they didn't announce it last year at Midsummer Scream like they did the previous year. But hey, announced and yeah. we're ready to go. Ready to go for that. Can't wait for that. And then obviously Haunt Season 2024. That's going to be a big one. We're going to try to get out to more so places uh, next year or this next come upcoming year. Uh, there was a few places that I really wanted to go to last year that we just didn't make it out to, or we just didn't have the funds to get out to. Yeah. You know, things happen. And then, yeah. Screen break. Yeah. Things happen. Screen break. It's coming back this year though. Awesome. I'll so. be excited to send that again. That was a lot of fun last year. Yeah. It was a good time. Um, got to keep our eyes open. That should be coming pretty soon. The next couple months. So, yeah, looking forward to celebrating. It's a nice long drive, but it's worth it. I worth think. it for a haunt, you know. I mean, we but we didn't thing. get to make it up there for haunt season this year. That's what I'm saying. That was one of the places I wanted to go to this year because yeah, they, they had the it was a 30th anniversary. Yeah, it just it, it for some reason it just kept winding up that every weekend that we would be able to go, we wouldn't we didn't got invited okay. to something. Or yeah, something around here, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I need to really thoroughly uh, go through and plan dates this year. I mean, it's it is a little bit more difficult on my end in the sense of me working nights. So, you know, it's hard to take off a day in here. A lot of the times, like those media events are during the week, um, like on a Thursday or a Friday. You know, so yeah. it does get a little difficult to to try to request to work off. But I'm gonna do my best this year, um, and try to request a day or two here. You know. So that way I'm not overdoing it, but I'm also like giving them enough time and enough space until the next one. So, yeah, we'll see where my job is at at that point, because, you know, Pizza yeah. Hut laying off all the drivers is just amazing. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> it does. <laughs> if there's any drivers out there, you know, totally <laughs> right there with you. Right there with you, for sure. <laughs> what about you? What are the, some things you want to try to accomplish in 2024? I really want to get into the quick for work you know i know it's a bit of a drive but i love the queen mary right pretty easy to say uh things to accomplish for me you know like i said getting a, a new job uh, trying to figure out some new things and stuff for for hayes mare She's always trying to shed her skins you know yeah. chameleon so to speak yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I mean, I think like you have a good, a fair amount of costumes, but like you, you make it known to like try to at least do once appearance and in, in every seasonal costume that you can, you know. So you try, you know. It gets a little hard here and there. Sometimes we just can't seem to find the time to get out 
Like, are stuff, you doing but... are you doing anything Valentine's Day related for the clown meetup? So I do have a Valentine's Day costume, but I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it to that. It's just checked it out in a bit. Uh, I should probably drag it out and see where it's at. Not like where it's at, but um, where my happiness level is with it. Because uh, I, I did do one photo shoot in the past with it with uh, Oved, if anybody knows, does great photography. But uh, the pictures turned out amazing. I just wasn't so happy with the costume itself. Right. I feel like it needed more. It. it I don't know. Um, kind of just like a dress that almost seems like a muumu. And <laughs> I understand that I'm a chunky female, but I don't want to look like I'm in a muumu. <laughs> that just does not do good things for self esteem. I know that. I know you. I know you got to brought the. Bring out the Christmas one at the the story films uh, meet up in December. Yeah, I love my Christmas costume. That was a fun one for you. I know you have your Easter one too, your little bunny suit. I have two Easter costumes actually. Yeah, I seen the one I met you it was the bunny suit. You went, you left too early to see the alternative costume. I did switch into it later in the night, but you weren't there anymore. That meet up that day was just kind of like a. It wasn't as packed as usually, you know what I mean? Like, no, it was very sparse. They didn't really do... Uh, Jay, I'm talking to you. Planning wasn't the best on that. You planned it the, the weekend of Easter. Everyone's going to be out of town. Or, you know, doing other things. But, yeah, I think you learned from that one. I, 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 I know we've talked about that in the past. It was um, actually quite cold that night. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was cold. Uh, and it was Easter weekend, so a lot of people either leave town or vacation or just didn't feel like busy with their family yeah so yeah it was fun though um that was when we first I had a lot of fun yeah that was a good time good days with the fire a bunch i seen that i remember seeing that one shot i saw the photos of that one the aftermath of that it was quite a bit a few different times i got to play in the fire i had a lot of fun just glad you didn't catch on fire though just glad you didn't catch on fire i didn't catch on fire either because that costume is highly flammable and i was not thinking about it (laughs) <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I guess I know stop drop and roll. Stop and drop and roll. Um, but yeah, I I think that um, you know, there's there's gonna be more things that get announced that we'll probably interest in. Those are some of the major things off the top of our head right now. But if you guys know anything uh, of horror related events, uh pop ups or anything that are happening this year, feel free to send them our way. Please do at Hazemer333 on Instagram. Or at the Nice of War on Instagram. Um, send us the ads and we'll try to get out there. Vegas peeps know where they're building places. We want to check out some houses when we're out there. Yeah. We don't know. Maybe we are relocating. So let's see. <laughs> yeah. If that's we don't happen. know. It's going to be really, a long time. We really, really, really don't know. It's going to be a while. Um, we, 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 we would, lots are, we'd like to do it sooner than... Our location wise. Yeah. We could, we could like to do it sooner rather than later. But um, yeah. We're looking at the market. We're just trying to see what's uh what's cheap, what's available, and what's affordable. So, with all that being said, though, I think we had a, a good little comeback episode, and I feel like uh, as the as the weeks and months go on, we'll have more to talk about. Uh, we, we I know we were talking about getting back to the movies too. So yeah, and hopefully my uh, health doesn't come to bite us in the ass, and then we have to take another hospital AK. trip. So let's uh let's hope that we can stay pretty steady on this. Yes, let's uh let's stay healthy. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for uh listening. Uh we will keeping us alive. Yes, thanks for keeping us alive. And I hope you guys enjoyed the new logo too. Debut of the new logo. Debut the new logo? Yeah, the one that you had oh. made for us. Uh, cuz I was like yeah, months ago. ago. Yeah. So. Um, but now we're finally, uh, <laughs> we're finally. It's been on the screen with along with other clips and stuff that you've probably seen of, of whatever we were talking about, or pictures. But yeah, mm. new logo, strange and I unusual. Even, I didn't even know it was up there. But yeah, I love the new logo. Love it very much. Uh, we hope you guys are doing amazing so far in 2024. We have a long way to go and a lot of fun to have. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a good year. With all that being said, until next time. Stay spooky.